shopping. But right now, I scream, you scream, we all scream for extra rich, extra creamy, extra delicious Moorinko's ice cream. Do you, uh, do you see it there? I said Moorinko's ice cream. From Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, this is a brand new brand launching today on In the Kitchen with David and QVC. And you're not going to get two ice creams or four or even six. How do you feel about eight 10 ounce servings? of holiday flavored ice creams. These are amazing. Now, up top you're getting, well, you're getting four flavors and eight containers. So two of the ginger snap, two of peppermint stick. Is it starting to sound like the holidays up in here? And then we drop, uh, drop down here to eggnog flavored ice cream, delish. And then I got a sample of these in my house this week. Trust me, I spent some quality time with this ice cream. This is Lemon cappuccino, and that's one that I can tell you firsthand, delicious. M69888. These are brand spanking new. And before you ask, will these arrive rock hard frozen? Let me tell you. When they arrived at my house frozen, Mary, I needed a jackhammer. They were so hard frozen, I had to let the, I had to leave them out for a little while to thaw just a bit. In fact, I'm sure they probably thawed a bit in my freezer because they were probably colder in the cooler than they were will be in my freezer. This is amazing. Don't miss out on this. We're going to welcome in Susan Sorinko, who is here to tell us live via Skype, I believe. Is that right? There she is. I'm here. I'm She's here. going to tell us all about this ice cream. Ma'am, first may I say thank you for the samples. Your ice cream is delicious. It's extra creamy and wonderful. It's a thrill to have you on QVC. Oh, it's a thrill to be here, David, especially given that this is the first ice cream that QVC has offered in a very long time. So the fact that it's Marenko's is an incredible honor and to be on your show, especially a thrill. Now, I pronounced it Marenko because I was doing a little play on words with the cow there, but That's it. So is that is that correct? Is it Marenko? It's Marenko. Marenko. You're Marenko's. located in Washington DC. Right outside Silver Spring, Maryland. Okay, yeah. so right outside the, the nation's capital. And these are shipping either November the 2nd or November the 30th with no auto delivery. Uh, talk to us, if you can, Susan, about what you do to this ice cream to make it extra creamy, rich, and delicious. So, Marengo's ice cream is at the higher end of the super premium spectrum. It's a 17% milk fat base, meaning the milk, the cream, the egg yolk, the sugar. 17% of it is milk fat. Uh, what that does is it gives you this really dense, rich, creamy experience. We don't whip a lot of air into it, so you're not paying for air. And we don't over sugar it, so you're really getting the flavor of what's in there. It's also a French custard base, meaning it has uh, some egg yolk in it. And what the egg yolk does, and David, you can probably attest to this, is it gives it a very long finish. So even after you swallow the ice cream, you can still taste it. Well, you know, I found when I tasted it, it coated my tongue. And it was the kind of thing where I just kept enjoying this rich flavor, even after I had swallowed it. This ice cream is extraordinary. And Susan, I have to tell you, you all packaged this beautifully. When they told me they were shipping me an ice cream sample, I had visions of 10 <laughs> containers of, of ice soup or creamy <laughs> soup. And, oh my goodness. I mean, a milkshake would have been generous in some instances. Uh, as hot as it's been, this arrived on my front doorstep, rock hard frozen. I needed to leave it out on the counter for a few minutes so I could get a spoon into it. It really is amazing product. And what we want to do is update you now and let you know what's happening. Uh, shipping on November 2nd, I have fewer than 1,000 sets to go around. If you want November 30th, I have 2,100 remaining. This is a sale price. And Susan, this is something very special because I believe you said 17% milk fat. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Oh, and you know it's going to be fantastic. What I also loved is that you put together lots of flavors for the holiday season. Now, this is peppermint stick and something so marvelous and even little bits of peppermint inside, right? Right, right. Exactly. It's iconic for the holidays. You well, can't have a holiday without peppermint stick ice cream. Exactly. And there's a little bit of that peppermint right there on top. Let's see if I can show him. There he is. So a little piece of peppermint right there. Yeah. I love these little waffle bowls. I think they're fun because you get to eat the bowl. So <laughs> this is all fantastic. But look what we did around the table here. 
we made traditional cones. We did a bowl of ice cream, little, uh, little waffle bowls. We've got these marvelous chocolate wafers coming up, and you can put wafers in these. I would imagine, now, Susan, you're probably familiar with the Bordeaux cookie, aren't you? Sure. Oh, a Bordeaux cookie in your ice yeah. cream? Oh, because yeah. that's a, basically a butter cookie. And you put Correct. that in with all that delicious ice cream. I'm really amazed by these. Let's go through our flavors. And Susan, I'd love for you to describe each one for us. We're going sure. to begin with ginger snap, little bits of ginger snap in the ice cream. And it's got a molasses base. So the wonderful thing about ginger snap is it's it's so specific to the season. It's got all of those warming spices, the ginger and the cloves, and um, uh, there's a there's molasses in the background. So it's really warming, wonderful flavor. And if you're serving a warm pastry, maybe an apple pie, an apple tart, put that on top and watch the heads blow off. That's just fabulous. Oh. Now, from there, we go to that peppermint stick we talked about. And I've got a little sample here where you can see the green and red peppermint inside. And the thing about the peppermint stick is um, it's just a holiday perennial. But if you, um, if you put it in a bowl and you pour some hot cocoa over it, oh my gosh. Not to worry. Of course, you know, a uh, law of averages are that uh, your phone's going to ring when you're on national television, right? <laughs> Not to worry. I'm sorry. I'm signaling my friend to take the phone off the hook. Not to worry. Not to worry. I thought we had it all covered. Someone's yeah. probably calling you saying, hey, they see you on TV. Exactly. Um, exactly. Could be my child. And then we've got eggnog ice cream. So eggnog kind of speaks for itself. And the way people use it is when they're serving eggnog and they want to keep it cold, they just float scoops of this ice cream on top. And the wonderful thing about Marenko's ice cream is it doesn't get watery when it melts. Uh, it just becomes this wonderful saucy mm. movement. So uh, as it melts into your eggnog, it's not going to dilute it. It's just going to enhance it. And then one that I really enjoyed when I sampled mine at home was the cinnamon cappuccino. Tell us more about that. So the cinnamon cappuccino is made with a very intense Colombian coffee concentrate. That's at the background. And then we here in our kitchen, where we make most of our flavoring from uh, make a cinnamon syrup that bolsters that, that bolsters that, and so it's sort of reminiscent of sitting by the fire with a nice cappuccino, right? right. But imagine that, imagine that, sitting on top of maybe some um, pecan pie. Oh yes, with the right? pecan pie. Yeah. Oh my word, yes. Or and even this is even a pumpkin pie because it, it mimics that sort of pumpkin spice latte. Situation. Well, I've just dished up a great big bowl of that cinnamon cappuccino. And if you want this delivered November 2nd, I have fewer than 600 remaining now. And November 30th, 1700 remaining. And let's remind you, you're getting two of each flavor two ginger snap, two peppermint stick, two eggnog, and two of the cinnamon cappuccino. Susan, I want to thank you for being here. Please tell whoever called not to worry. It always <laughs> happens. David, I just want to make sure you understand that each one of these containers feeds two people. So you're actually getting 16 servings. Which you could easily, because it's so rich and so thick, you could easily get two servings per container. That's exactly Absolutely. right. Susan, Absolutely. thank you so much. We appreciate you being here today. And it was a moving experience. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Come David. on, it was too easy. Pleasure. Too easy. Yeah, well, it was. It was.